Welcome to another edition of Tiffin Cast. This is your host Seishu of Tiffin Box. Thanks for joining us again. Today I'm with uh, Walter Van Dusen from Middletown, Connecticut, a photographer and the founder of Mystic Seminars. He's also a good friend of mine. We just had wonderful lunch at Fire and Spice in Hartford. Thanks for that, Walter. Uh, Walter, tell us a little bit about your experiences um, at second shooting and perhaps perhaps some pointers for second shooters. Uh, in the wedding market uh, right now. Sure thing, Dave. Say shoot. Thanks for having me here today. I have uh, three tips I can give you, and the number one tip is uh, photograph the wedding like you're photographing it as a primary, but from the groom's perspective. Photograph the groom getting ready, his interaction with his family. He has a mom. He has a dad. He has siblings. Uh, photograph him getting dressed. All the details you would normally do for bride prep, I do for groom prep. So that's one big tip. Another tip, as I'm reading my notes, uh, photograph, uh, to be a good second shooter, you have to be a good primary shooter. It's almost like being a caddy. Caddies on a, uh, for golfers, they're actually golfers, so they have to anticipate the moment before it happens. So being a good, uh, good second, you have to know what the first is, is going to do so you're not in the way, and you want to do the opposite of what they're doing. You're supposed to be a complementary to their coverage, not duplicating their coverage. And number three, my, one of my big tips, if you want to be a second photographer, try to get a portfolio online that you can show primary photographers what you can do. Room prep, uh, detail photos, uh, ceremony photos from a different angle, maybe from the back of the church with the bride and her dad. Everything that a primary would not be able to do. Uh, detail photos at the reception, when they're photographing family and friends, you're doing cocktail, so you're getting all these cocktail photos of people having fun, photos that can sell. You also, if they have time, you go in and do some detailed photos in the reception, table shots, etc., etc., because the primary is focused on doing family and photos like that. And number four, as a bonus, uh, carry bags. Before you become a second shooter, if you haven't done a lot of first shooting uh, experiences, just carry the bag, hold a light. You can learn more by seeing what the other photographer sees than you can by you trying to be a second photographer. Because I personally would not trust somebody I don't know. And I think that if you really want to be a, a really good photographer, carry bags and hold lights. That's great. Great, uh, great tips for any second shooter or any photographer who wants to be a wedding photographer, a primary wedding photographer, to start off as uh, a first an apprentice as such. Uh, yep, holding the light stands, uh, you know, being a val. Exactly, and, and being out there watching what the primary or the secondary sh shooter is doing. Um, that's great. Now let's talk a little bit about Mystic Seminars. You know, I've been to all but one of them, um, and I'm, I've been very curious. I mean, I know a little bit about the background, but I, I think for my audience, uh, tell, us, tell us a little bit about the, the background, the, the history of Mystic, or not, Mystic Seminars and how it came about. I've been doing this since 97. And one of the first people I learned from a long time ago is uh, Joe Busink. Him and I roughly started about the same time, same as you say. She started about 96, 97. Uh, he was in California. I went to, about seven years ago, I went to a uh, workshop by him up in upstate New York. And another great workshop by Joe Busink. One of the comments he mentioned was when he first started, or the first couple of years, he would have little networking events at his house where people eat and drink and have fun, but they also show each other's work. And so if he's booked, he knows he can recommend blog photographer, etc. As I sat there, I was thinking, we don't really have that in, in New England at the time. So three weeks later, I came up with Mystic, uh, technically Mystic One, and we put together a few speakers, you know, a few people to share. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more like sharing. And we had 44 people. After the first Mystic, uh, a few months went by, and they go, hey, Walt, are you going to do another one? So I said, all right, I'll do another one. So then I had a few more speakers. And what I learned from the first one was we didn't have lunch provided, so we all went off to our different ways, right. which sort of like just didn't work out so well with networking because we all went to different restaurants. So sec second Mystic and on, we provide lunch. So we all get to hang out together. And as we all know, when you go to seminars, you learn more sitting around eating, like Joe did when he first started, you learn a lot from just your fellow photographers. So that's how I came up with Mystic. 
Tell me a little bit about why you think it's become so popular. I mean, other than the fact that there's lunch now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's pretty funny. Uh, I think it became popular because people had, they got to meet friends, they got to network. Uh, they didn't feel like a cattle call where they would have to wait in line for many hours and then you go to a seminar and then go off and be on your own. If you want to meet people, you meet people. Mm -hmm. It's at one location in January. There's mm -hmm. nothing else to do. <laughs> you're, you're basically sequestered mm -hmm. at, for example, the Marriott. You're not leaving. Right. It's snowing. Right. Kick butt. Most likely it's snowing. It's nice yeah. and warm. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you're forced to meet new people. I think that's one of the reasons. Number two, I do Mystic uh, for people I, I want to see. So I pick people that I find interesting. Some of them are known people. Some of them are not known people. Uh, I had Ben Crispin. His first time speaking was at Mystic three years ago. Neil Van Newkirk. Never spoke before. Spoke at Mystic 1, 2, and I believe 3. So I take chances and I give people opportunity that they may not have had before in a pretty good audience. You mentioned the fact that the, the seminars are, are taking place in January uh, in New England. And everybody knows it's crazy cold out here at that time. Um, how are you uh, attracting people from uh, places like Mexico and um, Germany California, and California and Oregon, Oregon all to Florida? Uh, Florida, ex exactly. I mean, how are they all giving up their their warmth and coming up to, to cold New England? Well, I think Mystic draws people that want to learn. Mm -hmm. And when you have one class going at one time, you're forced to learn. And it's, to me, the price point's great. Lunch. Every seminar you can see, all day coffee, tea, soda, and bottled water. But I think having a, having like-minded people to learn from is the key to why Mystic's success. Now you're you're expecting how many people for the next? We year? max out at 300. You max out at 300. Yeah. Wow. No more than 300. We have classroom-style seating, so everybody has a great seat. And as Sasha knows, this past time we had double screens, surround sound like we've been having with uh, good friends from Power Posse. Mm -hmm. Sounds phenomenal. You don't have a bad seat in the house. You get to see everybody. You have you, everybody has a great seat. Tell me a little bit about your future plans for the seminars. If you can tell us anything. Uh, we're doing something different this year. We have uh, five or six hands-on, limited twelve people workshops from the seminar. Uh, I do a lot of surveys, as Sasha knows, mm -hmm. and people say we want hands-on. We want hands-on. So we have Joe Busink, Jerry Kionis, uh the Red Rockers. Four for one. You sign up for the Red Rockers from Mexico, you get four speakers for the price of one. Limit 12 people. That's it. 12 people max. So this is the day before the seminar? Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday, 9 to 5. And then Thursday night, we're going to have uh, two speakers. Mm -hmm. Joe, uh, Jerry's going to speak, and then I have to figure out who the second one's going to be. Okay. Um, and you mentioned these seminar, uh, these workshops take place the day, uh, the day before. Yes. How much extra is that? 450. For? Oh, that's four fifty completely separate. Yep. Okay. Four hundred fifty dollars gets you one of twelve. That's great. I think it is. I think it's fantastic. Thank you, Stacey. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Walter, for your time. Uh, you know, one of the things I've always uh, been inspired about when I when I even think about you is that how active you are within the the photography community. And uh, you just told me you've just been to Skip uh, Summer School for the third year. For the third year, and you know, I think there's a lesson to be learned from that too. If you want to be in the business, you've got to know the business, and I think you certainly do. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, Sashu, for your time. Take Have care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.